speak about blockchain technology a bunch, and for most of those discussions, they're about fintech, right? Uh, although not always. Well, RT's Brent Jabor got a great look at how the supply chain with regard to food is being impacted to use blockchain. And the example they use, of all things, are mangoes. Brent sat down with Ali Mohaji. Check it out. So it's used in a lot of different ways, right? And this is where a lot of people are only looking at the crypto side and they're missing, I think, what's the bigger picture of what's evolving on the blockchain side. And so there's a lot of great use cases on the private enterprise side. You're seeing governments start to look at this in a very interesting way. Central banks are looking at this in terms of how can money or, or fiat currencies be digitized potentially and mapped. Um, you're seeing companies, I mean, an example would be Walmart on supply chain. Uh, they put uh, pork on, their on the supply chain with IBM and, and Tsinghua University. Uh, they've also put mangoes on the supply chain, which is has substantial savings, right? We're talking about, just as a, as a quick note, I mean, Walmart going from a seven-day transaction uh, auditability time on traditional supply chain for mangoes to 2.2 seconds. There's massive savings that you're starting to see with companies using blockchain today. For, for a layman, Explain to me how you bring mangoes to the blockchain. Exactly, right? And so this is where it's fascinating, right? So you take the existing process, right? So you got you obviously have a lot of different people involved. You've got, you know, all the way from the seed to the, the planta planting, you've got obviously then the growing and the picking of the, the mangoes. You, of course, want to be tracking, like, what type of seed was used. You want to see, like, what type of nutrients was it given. Like, so this could impact for example, with different types of organic foods, was it organic or non-organic? And taking that information that's already being gathered, but putting it into the blockchain, which allows multiple parties to see this information at the same time, and allows you to track certain products very effectively through the blockchain. So if you take this with food, which is very interesting, right? Mm -hmm. You could have food outbreaks. I mean, you've heard of like E. coli outbreaks, you've heard of other types like melamine outbreaks and other things that could be uh, in, in certain types of food that humans can't consume, that might create outbreaks and national recalls. And with this sort of thing, imagine the ability where all of these things that are already being tracked are just put onto the blockchain so you can track that item all the way through all the way from that farm to table or fork, where like to the consumer, and now you've got an outbreak. It's very quick for governments or regulators to start doing sampling, start, start you know, start doing a number of tests, like in in labs or DNA tests or whatever it is, on a, on a number of different products. Say these products are all fine. These came from these farms. These products all got flagged. These came from these farms, and tracking it through every supplier that touched it and those farms, and then being able to shut out all of that to stop an outbreak in a much quicker way. So like a couple of years ago, we saw... Uh... And this is one reason why I'm so uh, happy to have this channel and to invest in cryptocurrency because there's so many uses of the blockchain. And as you can tell, as a uh, crypto investor, the last two years has been pretty brutal. But at the same time, um, I'm looking for the technology to grow and develop and I do feel like it's a long-term investment, but even if it does fizzle out, and some of my smaller projects have fizzled out, um, I'm not worried about it because I think the ecosystem is going in the right direction and there's a lot of promise and opportunity. But let me know your thoughts and what you think about this, and I will talk to you guys soon.